Hello, friends, and welcome again to another Street Fighter Duel video. Hey, guys, today in this video, we're gonna be seeing the updated versions of the Guild Shadowland uh, for the Trial of Blood and the Path of Fire. And I will show you the lineups and we'll be talking about them a little bit. Now, the meta have shifted, especially in the Path of Fire versus the Mech Zengiv. And we have a different team comp and different bossing team, which is uh, pretty much taking over uh, every single aspect of the game and every single boss in the game, especially in events and in the guild right now. So if we go and uh, click the Shadowlands, we're going to see that we have two, Trial of Blood and Path of Fire. Now, Trial of Blood, we always been using the same lineup with Dalsim and dominating this, and this is didn't change. So the main core of the lineup, are, or if, you, if you're free to play or low spender and you don't have Gokin, Gokin works the same as your uh, Bison, and it's not changing or it doesn't work even better or less. It depends on RNG and how much you proc Wildfire using Fashion Blanca on your Dalsim and how much damage you inflict. So, you can use this lineup and there's two units that you can play around and use them. And two assists actually you can play around also and use them. First of all, we're gonna talk about the normal basic lineup which I'm using actually. And this lineup sometimes and many people have told me that they going uh, they go in to check the leaderboard or what they're using and there's different units and it doesn't show the real lineups. Even for me, sometimes it doesn't show me the real lineup that I use. It show me the one that I used on the Path of Fire. So let's talk about it. Now, the first thing, Dalsim is the core unit of this lineup. Of course, Flame Aedon work here, Fire Aedon, and he deals okay damage. Uh, can compete a little bit with Dalsim, but no way he will deal the same scores and the same damage. Uh, Dalsim, because he capitalized on his uh, buffing, he buffs himself, and it doesn't matter that they stay a lot in the uh, ring of fire that uh, flame Aedon does or fire Aedon does because you need the burst of the damage and the fire on there on the debuffs on them according to your attack and who scales an attack better it's Dalsim so what do you need to understand about this this lineup is consisting of Dalsim, Fashion Blanca, a support I love to use uh, Summer Yang, you can use uh, Street Poison, it, she works fine. You can use Athi Chun-Li, she also works fine, but I don't advise wear, uh, using her because she's so quick with using her C1, sometimes you whiff your C2 if you're using it with somebody else. And Bison, Bison as free to play or standard basic player, uh, low spender, you can use him. Plus his plus 30 and his 6 out of 6 cards will help you massively. You'll deal a lot of damage and buff your lineup as well. If you want to use the other versions, you can use Gokin. Now Gokin will give you shields, mitigate damage, and he will increase his own damage. Will not buff you massively, but he will let you survive and continue your combo. And you have an, another way to use a C1 or a C2 if, you, or if you, the C1 or the C2 of the second unit is not available. So, what you need to understand here is you want to buff... Uh, the Dalsim with the C1 and then continue the damage dealing not use his super as much as possible you need to use his C3 as much as possible and let him stand on his yoga tower to, uh, to the maximum time so as much as possible as well so I'm gonna show you the replay of my lineup and how I did it so let's go and check the replay so here we are this is the replay so uh this is my score actually my perfect score and this is the ex moves that i'm using actually i'm not using the virtual ex you don't need it here uh crazy potato will help me sustain if i need it and cami and vega ex i can't stress enough how important this ex move is you should pull for it at least have one copy as we start i start with fashion blanca accumulate uh c1 with my uh uh, Dalsim and press Kami and Vega EX before I drop Summer Yang. Summer Yang will give me combo meter with his C2 and uh, Bison will explode with his C3. Again, I start with Dalsim as soon as he finishes 15 stacks. I use Fashion Blanca with his C1, C2 for Summer Yang and C3 with Dalsim. Why I use the C2 of uh, Summer Yang? To give me more combo meter so I can spam in the end when I have maximum stacks. Now I can do it better, of course, the scores vary with uh, how much you perform and what do you use as, um, let's say, um, wildfire, how much wildfire you proc on your units. So I use the C1 again, I want to reach 30, I reached 30, now it's, it will be almost 35, I use Fashion Blanca, Summer Yang now with the C1 and Dalsim and I go back to back, Fashion Blanca, 
but I let a little bit of breather as you see here for Dalsim for him to accumulate some combo meter and as soon as I hit his C3 I hit the super with Fashion Blanca C1 with uh, Summer Yang C3 with Dalsim as you see I used the crazy potato I didn't want to die here and I killed the unit that initiated the combo so they didn't continue and this is what you need to do about it and then I started with Fashion Blanca Summer Yang Fashion Blanca Dalsim then immediately with Bison Summer Yang Fashion Blanca, Dawson to deal as much damage as possible before the timer runs off. So this is how you vary and you use your lineup and your units to accumulate and deal the maximum damage as you see 1.3 uh, billion damage which is okay actually and the more that you rank higher the more the rewards are the more that you score damage the more the rewards are you don't want to compete with your guild members for the highest scores what you need to do is buff your scores and get as much as possible from the scores. Now, let's talk about Path of Fire. Now, Path of Fire is another bossing in the guild, which also requires the same lineup that we use in bossing, the same lineup that we use currently in the meta. The meta shifted around from using Summer Elena with Flame Chun, uh, with uh, Gokin and with Flame Adon, into using Rich E Honda with a Fire Adon, with uh, Fashion Chun Li or Flame Chun Li and three poison now this lineup this uh, comp works very well with each other you buff massively with summer uh, street uh, uh, poison and you buff massively with a fire or flame penetration with your flame chun and this is the most important thing rich honda works at a plus from a plus or a rank whatever you have him at till ss it doesn't differ only the ss differ the different thing about it is his plus 30 maybe give you a little bit of sustainability and he increases his damage when you rank him up or uh, uh, invest in him plus his 6 out of 6 which will give you crit rate and the crit rate is really important it will buff your team and make you crit even more and have more damage so the rotations and here also i can't stress enough how kami and vega ex move is so important and essential specifically for this lineup even if you're doing the bossing in effigy clash in anything in boss rush in any type of event that you want to go to boss against so the the core thing about here and uh, before i continue this i want to talk about one thing here the assist Fei Long on any unit that you have a fire team or a fire unit that inflict damage, Fei Long must be an assist. And another assist here in Shadowlands works so much in the Trial of Blood is Oni. If you have Oni to SS, whenever you kill a unit, you increase the damage for the uh, carrier of Oni or the one that he's assisting, which is Dalsim mainly, and he will deal more damage. If you don't have him at that, you can drop on him uh, Mayor Cody and Mayor Cody will increase the damage dealt and this will be awesome even ryu works as well if you want to so here what we need to do is understand that units that buffs flame damage or fire damage will be the most ones efficient or the most ones to give you flame damage or mo most of the damage so as you see here i'm using fire adon fire adon is my main carry i don't have him at five stars still he hits crazy numbers so if you have him more at five stars he will be insane plus 30 is recommended on him six out of six is recommended on him he doesn't perform well without them he performs but not as good as he performs when you max him out now flame uh, chun of course i'm i'm free to play i'm not uh, i don't have any single uh, legendary unit beside fashion blanca but you can go and merc it you can go to your friends and ask for a uh, fire a uh, flame chun and they will give it to you and you'll have her for a week and you can try her here and use her and just when you high, rank the highest scores, you can go and start raiding every week until you have her again and you go for a better run when you level up your units. So, the combo goes as well. You want E Honda on your main lineup as a tank. You need Flame Aedon or Fire Aedon on your main lineup and Street Poison on your main lineup as a buffer. And she does two things. She buffs you, she deals a little bit of damage and mostly she heals your lineup with her passive which is really good actually on your lineup this is why we use her if you're having flame chun if she has the plus 30 and the 6 out of 6 sometimes when you press her c2 she goes and do a double attack and you can miss your timing on your combo and you can't regenerate and continue your combo meter this is why we put her in tag position and she works best with the tag position you only need to use her c2 and that's it so how do we start the battle we wait a little bit 
we uh, drop the Kami and Vega EX move and then we have a free combo to start with whom the last one in our lineup if you didn't max it out if you max it out you can start with whoever you want but if you didn't you will start with Street Poison so you start with Street Poison you click the C1 of E Honda the C2 of Flame Chan and then the C3 of, of Flame Aedon or Fire Aedon and then your entire combo will be going with E Honda then uh, C1 of C Poison, C2 of uh, Flame Chan, and then C3 of Fire Aedon until the end of the battle. And here where it comes if you have the Virgil EX or not. If you don't have the Virgil EX, you can still hit the 4 point something billion damage. But with the, uh, with, the, with the EX of Virgil, you can hit more and more. And this is why it's so important to have it. And it's a crucial uh, EX move. And if they do a rerun for it, save for it. Because if we have the event again, you need to get it. It's a massive game changer in all the aspects of bossing in this game. So let's go and check how I did with this lineup and how was the rotation. So here we are. This is the rotation that I was using actually on this lineup. And we have uh, Fei Long on E Honda. Of course, I dropped Virgil EX here because it's really needed in this fight. And I have uh, Fashion Blanca, I think, or Mayor Cody on uh, my uh, Fire Aedon. You can use Fashion Blanca on him. He works as well. And this will be our lineup. Kami and Virgil EX is so important. You don't need to forget about this. And I use here, I think, yeah, the EX move of Rich E Honda, actually, because it helps you reduce also the damage uh, for the boss. So the boss will take more damage. And I wait and I go X4 until I have Kami and Vega EX. Then I remove the X4 and I start casting. So... I wait a little bit before the boss start hitting and I use it. So Street Poison, E Honda, Flame Chan, Fire Aedon, then E Honda, Street Poison, Flame Chan, Fire Aedon until the end of the battle. And I continue doing that and I drop the EX move of Rich E Honda as soon as possible when it's open so I can accumulate these damages. And look at the damage ramping up so quick and so fast. We are at half a billion and we'll get to the billion really quick because we're uh, inflicting the debuff on the uh, enemy so fast. You don't uh, need to panic at the 35th, uh, f uh, 35 second or something like that when he drops the, uh, his super, the boss, because it will not wipe you at all. But now at the t uh, 30 second, he will drop it. So I drop the EX move. As you see, everybody are lo on low HP and they will recover a little bit by little bit and you deal a little bit of damage actually because uh, uh, you're gonna uh, heal from... Uh, street poison and as you see this is what we did by the end and we did as much possible as we can from damage and that was the end result you will always achieve something like this between 3 billion to 5 to 6 billion you can hit the 6 billion we did it before and i because i manualed it for the sake of the video i couldn't reach it again and this was how the fight went and as you see the more you score the more that you get rewards as you can read here Go to toe to toe, uh, go toe to toe with Meg Zangief in the Path of Fire. The more damage that you do, the more the rewards. And this was the lineup. This was the change uh, meta actually, and this is the meta that we're running in the Path uh, of Fire to fight this boss. Of course, you can deal better scores if your E Honda is built more and more. You will even inflict more damage because he will deal a little bit of damage because of his super. His super does actually good damage according to his defense which is really really helpful and yeah that was it actually for this video this is all what i wanted to share with you so uh, i hope you all best of luck and see you in the next one if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe if you didn't we thank you for watching and as always stay frosty peace Time to fight. Time to fight. Never give up